Good morning, y'all. It's your girl Tiasha back with another video. It is super early. Today I'm nine weeks and two days. I'm on my way to my first prenatal appointment. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very nervous. Last time, you know, I went to my doctor's appointment thinking everything was okay and it wasn't. You know, I didn't get to hear a heartbeat. Never got to hear a heartbeat for the last baby. So I'm not even about to lie. I'm super nervous. I'm still sitting um, in my driveway, but I'm about to drive off. Um, so I guess I'll see y'all when I get to my doctor's. Uh, when I get to my doctor's office. Okay, y'all. I just left my doctor's appointment. I do not like it at all. I'm going to see if I can find another OBGYN. I've came to this OBGYN for all my pregnancies, but I guess now they are under new management or new ownership. So now they're doing things differently. I literally just went in for a pregnancy test and a confirmation of pregnancy. And then she's like, okay, well, let's come back in two weeks. And I'm like, you guys aren't going to, I was like, you know, under the last OBGYN, once it's confirmed, then you get blood work, you get, you know, able, you able to hear the heartbeat and all this kind of stuff. And she's like, no, not under this new OBGYN. Um, you, you do your confirmation of pregnancy, then you come back in two weeks and, and, um, then we'll start everything. Two weeks. And then they didn't even have an appointment for two weeks. They had an appointment for a month out. She has an appointment for a month out. So I will technically be 13 weeks. I will technically be 13 weeks with her having an appointment for a month out. I don't want to wait 13 weeks to know to to know if my baby's all right. I never even, I mean, not 13 weeks. I don't want to wait a whole month to know if my baby's okay because I haven't heard a heartbeat or anything like that. So I'm like, under this new OBGYN, if I would have known that they've changed, I, if, the, if I would have known that they changed, I probably would have tried to find another one. Um, but I might look into finding another one because I feel like me having to wait a whole month is just ridiculous. I'm going to be out of my first trimester by the time I see the doctor. I don't know if everything's all right or not. I haven't, I haven't, uh, heard a heartbeat. They didn't do no nip test, no nothing. Like, I don't like this new OBGYN. I'm not even about to lie, but I'm about to go home. Well, I'm about to go get me some breakfast and then go home. Um, I guess I'll talk to y'all when I get home or whatever. Bye.